Hey guys, so so another beautiful day today. It's 70 degrees. More leaves have came down. So today's Monday and I just mowed down the leaves on Saturday. So looks like I'm going to have to do them again. But oh well. So yeah. And you know I thought I'd make a do a lawn equipment uh, cold start video on some of the uh, lawn equipment that are still currently up even though just half of them have been winterized. The ones that I've winterized is of course the Craftsman mower, the Lawn Boy 10606 and the, the trimmers, the SRM25 and SRM2400SB. Uh, I haven't did the PAS 230 yet. I will not start it because I'm having uh, carburetor issues. I'm waiting for a new carburetor to come in from mowersforyou.com. But, and I just recently uh, winterized the PB251 and PB400E. So the, the equipment that I will start, uh, we'll start up the Lawn Boy 8461 commercial, the Echo PB500T, the uh, HC150 hedge trimmer, the uh, chipper shredder, all of those. So uh, let me uh, get all get all this stuff out. Oh yeah, one another one I just totally forgot. That's just hidden right in front of the chipper shredder. It's hidden in this bag right here. Just totally forgot about it. Yeah, the uh, Echo CS400 chainsaw. We'll do that too. I haven't winterized it yet. I might go to my grandparents' farm next week. They do need some trees uh, cut. And I'll definitely bring the saw with me. So let me get all this out and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Alright, so the first one we'll uh, start is the, the Lawn Boy 8461. So let me just turn the fuel valve on. So this one was just running on Saturday. And try and crawl over here so I can let y'all see the model number. Oh. So, 8461. The serial number is E239C0111. The E means that it's a 1986 model. So she's 26 years old. Still working, except the self-propelled does not work. I just don't feel like taking this thing apart and have to fix the self-propelled, but to me it's no big deal. This mower is not really that heavy at all compared to uh, some of the newer commercial lawnmowers now that are just like a tank. Alright, so I'll set you up on the tripod. We'll see how it starts. Alright. Yeah, she's cold. But, oh well. Two pulls, not too bad. Alright, so next up, uh, why not the chipper shredder? Okay. Turn its fuel valve on. Uh, how much gas do we have in this? Oh. About three quarters of the way full. So it looks like I got plenty of gas. For me to finish up the rest of the shredding that I got that I got to do, just whatever remaining gas that's left in it, I'll just siphon it out and just run it in my car. Okay, so this thing hasn't been started. Oh man, 
probably I would say two months whenever the last time I used it I don't really remember I think it's around two months let me uh, check the oil uh, yeah she's still good the oil's still nice and clean you can't even quite hardly see it it's so clean okay so we'll give her half throttle choke I'll just try and do this one-handed and let's see how she starts how about that one pull not too bad for a succumpsy Cool. So, uh, next one. Alright, so next one, we'll do the hedge trimmer. I think this one hasn't been started, uh, probably at least a month. I know I, I used it not that long ago on cutting those, uh, privet hedges from over there in the corner. I still need to, still got those privet hedges to cut, so I'll do those, uh, real soon cut those and then I'll uh, winterize this thing okay let's see do we still have any, is there any gas in here yep it's got some gas there's not much in there I think this still has the SEF fuel in it since I only got one can of SEF fuel I only use it in the hedge trimmer and the chainsaw okay let's see how it starts all right switch is on choke. Primer bulb is just underneath the carburetor, so I'll give it some primes. Try a couple more. I need to replace the fuel grommet on this one because it's got cracks. I'll wait and do that for the win during the winter time because I do have a still got an extra it. All right, so set you on the tripod. I need to take the blade cover off. All right, let's see how this one starts. Not too bad. Always trust your echoes. All right, so uh, now for the backpack blower. Ladybug just landed right on me. And another one. Alright, so anyways. Alright, so now for the backpack blower. This thing was just running on Saturday. So, turn the switch on. Choke. The primer ball was underneath the carburetor, so I'll give it five primes. All right, so let me get you up on the tripod. See how it starts. How about that? One pull, just like the chipper shredder. bit of smoke.
cool. And now, finally, the chainsaw, which I just almost forgot about it. I haven't used it in such a long time. And let's see. Oh, I haven't started this thing in a long time. Probably, oh, probably since that video when I did that video on cleaning up uh, the bar and chain. So that's probably been about two and a half months. The last time I used it was probably about that time too, because I used it on cutting down that broken limb on our pecan tree. All right, let me just get my tripod over here. Actually, let me check. Let me check if we have any gas. Yeah, there's some. This also has the SEF fuel in it. All right, how about oil? It's kind of hard to get this oil cap off sometimes. Hang on a second. All right, so I got this cap broke loose. Let me just put that in macro so y'all can see that. Oh yeah, she's got about a half a tank of oil. Usually when the oil tank's halfway full, it won't, it doesn't leak. All right. So, let's make sure that cap is on there. Yep, it is. All right, so, this one's cold too. She's still in cold, hand on the muffler. All right, so let's see how it does. Okay, switch on. Choke. Give it about five primes. All right. Get you on the tripod. All right. All right. Brake on. This thing is a little bit louder than all the other equipment. So at least this thing is still good to go whenever I go to my grandparents' farm to use it. Looks like my chain's a little bit loose. I'll probably need to tighten the chain a little bit. But that's no big deal. So, cool. So, sorry that I didn't include the PAS-230 just because of with the, with the carburetor issues. So, I should get my new carburetor uh, in real soon. It's been taking uh, mowers for you.com a while for them to ship it just because of the just because of the holiday uh, week because I ordered it last Monday. So uh, yeah. So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching.